Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to bind multiple arrays into HTML drop-down select option element using AngularJS. So here we got the results uh, binded into this select option element using AngularJS. Now if you want the EMP names you want to convert into uppercase, let's simply add here uppercase that's it let's save this file I'm reloading the browser see here the EMP names are converted into uppercase that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I'm using notepad plus plus Right now in this page contains a simple HTML code with some header tags h1, h2 and one horizontal line. Now after the horizontal line, I am adding the due tag. I am closing the due tag. Now between this due tag, I am adding the select element. I am closing the select element. I am adding the option tag. I am closing the option tag. Just copy this one. Let's add the another option. Now this first option is a default label for the drop down control. I'm adding the value is empty, selected, hidden. Select employee details. Is a drop down control label name. So let's save this file. Now before binding the multiple arrays into this option, drop down control using AngularJS, first we'll check the basic output on the browser. And this is the output of that code. Right now this HTML page contains header tags and one drop down select option element. Now my aim is I'll create a multiple arrays in AngularJS. After that I'll bind into this drop down control. So first thing we require the latest AngularJS CDN link in the Google search for latest Angular CDN. Enter. And from the search results I'm selecting the angular.js. Select that one. And here you can find the different versions. Come to the bottom. I require this one angular.min.js. This is a CDN link I require. Let's copy this one. And in the header section, I'm adding the script tag. I'm closing the script. Source is equals to between double quotes. I'm adding the angular.js CDN link. After that, I'm adding the script tag. Close the script tag. Let's declare the variable here. Variable app is equals to angular dot module between single quotes. I'm adding the AngularJS application name. So in this due tag after the horizontal line, ng iPhone app. This is a direct true between double quotes. I'm adding my app. Let's copy this one, this here, comma, array. Now the next step, app.controller is a function between single quotes. I'm adding the controller name, angular.controller, my controller. Let's add this my controller name, comma, create the function dollar scope. It's now in this function I'm creating the multiple arrays. 
dollar scope dot creating object emp details is equals to between square brackets I'm adding the curly brackets let's close this one emp id colon one comma emp name between single quotes I'm adding charan the employee name comma email charan at gmail.com Copy this one, the second one, and the third one. I'm creating three records in this array. James, the employee ID is two. James at gmail.com. The employee ID of the third record is three. Vamshi, and the email is Ram. No, I don't require this one. Now the final step we need to bind this array into this option. To bind the data I'm using ng hyphen repeat directive between double quotes emp object in I'm adding the emp details after that to binding the data I'm using the expression between the curly braces the EMP this object dot the column names EMP ID I'm using pipe symbol to separate the columns EMP dot the next one is the EMP name And the last expression emp dot email copy this one and paste here that's it let's save this file we'll check the final output on the browser i'm reloading the browser so here we got the results are binded into this select option element using angular js now if you want the EMP names you want to convert into uppercase. Let's simply add here uppercase. That's it. Let's save this file. I'm reloading the browser. See here the EMP names are converted into uppercase. That's it.